tells us that I, he that began a good work in you, you little speck. Now all of the people of God that will believe God just like Job did down to his very last. When everything was gone, his children was gone, his wife was gone, his cattle was gone, all of his finances were gone. Everything that he had was gone, but he still held on to God. And what did God do? This is talking about the power of God. So it's going to be just like it was in the, uh, another Old Testament story that talks about the woman at Zarephath. When they were going through a famine. Oh, God. And yet God sustained her every time she went back to the meal barrel, went back to the oil cruise. She thought she'd got the last, but she'd go back the next day, and there was enough for that day. My, my, my. And it's getting ready to get to that same place. We've got to understand that when we are chosen and called by God, we have to learn how to really trust and put all of our faith in him. And when we put all of our faith in him, he will sustain us. We may have to go through a period of time, but when you understand that he that began a good work in us is well able to complete that work, no matter how the valleys you have to go through, guess what? While you're in the valley, he'll sustain you there. And, and, and huh, talk about give us this day our daily bread. Ah, we've got to get to that place, uh, just like the children of Israel was wandering in the wilderness. He fed them by the day and told them, don't, see, don't hoard it. You know why? Because you start trying to save it up, what that mean? You don't trust him for the next day. And because those that were hoarding the, the manna and the quails, when they went to it the next day, it was rotten. And it was just a reminder, I told you, whatever I give you for this day, use that that day. Don't worry about tomorrow, I'll take care of tomorrow. Mm. We're going to get to that same place in this earth round. Uh, before Jesus come, I believe. We're going, and God is going, to, those that are faithful to him, those that are continually believing in him and not trying to... Uh, work some little schemes and things to try to get stuff, God is going to take care of us by the day. By the day. My God. Ah, See, Job held on to his faith in God. The scripture says, he said, though he slay me, yet will I trust him. God, it's kind of like, okay, God, you know, this cancer in my body, I don't understand what it is and all of that, but I'm trusting you. Hold on to your faith. That's what the song say. And never let go his unchanging hand. He said, because I know you know the way that I take. Ah, and then Job says, and when he had tried me, I shall come forth as pure gold. Job held on to God. And those of you that might happen to be looking at this video may be having trouble on every hand. But keep walking upright. Keep praying. Keep seeking God. Because you just might be that one that was picked out to be picked on. God may say, I know what's in the heart of that individual. I know really how much they love me. Yes, they may be having challenges. Maybe they don't know all of the word that they need to know right now. But I know their heart, and the good thing about God, because of his grace, when the heart is pure towards God, God knows how to bring the right people into your life to be able to minister to you on a level that you can understand until you can get to the next place. And this is what we have to understand even when people come. Sometimes they only come for a period of time. Don't get mad because they gone. There's time for them to go. Time for somebody else to come. When we can understand ministry to that degree, then we won't be heartbroken when we don't see all of the folk that we saw last year. Well, maybe it's time for them to be in another place for another time, for another season. Ah, but while we have who we have, we continue to teach and continue to encourage and continue to uh, bring, speak words of faith.